This video is to show teachers how to log in to the CASP SBAC testing site. As usual, we start with the start page. At the top of the start page, you will see the link to the testing site. If you click on that link, it will take you to CaliforniaTAC.org. What you are looking for is the Test Administrator Interface. If you click on that, it will take you to a login page where you will need to sign in with the username and the password that you have reset based on the email that you got. Once you are logged in, you'll see this screen. You want to filter by category you'll see five options. Number one is the summative adaptive tests. That's the traditional part of the test that the students are taking. Number two is the summative performance tasks. Three, four, and five are for interim performance or comprehensive assessments. The actual testing that we're doing is either the adaptive test number one or the performance tasks number two. Pick whichever one the students are working on that day. You'll see a list. Now this is a district administrator account so you will not see all of these but you will see the tests that are available for your school and your account. When you click on that you will see that the start session button turns green and you want to click on that start session. The rest of this video is going to take place in the training site so you will see some slight differences than the actual test site. We're doing that so that we don't have to use any actual student information or student accounts. Once you start the testing session you will see in the upper right of the screen you will see a session ID that session ID is something you will need to give to the students and they will need to, to use that to sign in to this particular testing session. For more information about that, see the student login videos. As students log in, you will see their name appear in the box in the upper right they're waiting for approval from you. You can approve them one at a time or you can approve them all at once once everyone is on the right page. So you can click approvals, you can either approve all students or you can approve them one at a time. Right now I'm going to approve everyone because I only have one sample student in there. Ask you to confirm it. I say yes and to make sure that they've all selected the right test I say yes and the student information is updating once the student actually begins the test you will see their name show up in the list again in this sample there's only one but you will have everybody in your class on this list you will be able to see their student status as well so you'll be able to see what question they're on and how far they've gotten You'll also be able to pause the test for an individual student or you can see their test settings as well. While the test is going on, you will need to leave this window and this tab open. If you close it, it automatically stops the session for all students, kicks them out of the test, and then you will have to start all over and have every student log in and every student be approved once again and that would ruin a good part of the day. When you are finished you can click the red stop session button and that will stop all students testing. It gives you a little notification that says everyone's gonna pause it and then you say okay and then you're done. 